Well, the plan all along has been to build a jail and an added mental health facility near that same site. However, the People's Council for Justice Reform says that criminalizes mental health and those dollars should be spent differently. We want them not in the process at all. Do not send them to jail, make them criminals, and then claim that you're treating them. We've been telling you federal funding to build a mental health facility as part of the new jail is in jeopardy because commissioners still haven't landed on a site. I believe that we're risking a behavioral health center. That's our biggest concern um, is making sure that we build the behavioral health center. Well, today, the People's Council for Justice Reform is calling on commissioners to put that money elsewhere and has their own solution. That 50 million in ARPA funds could be spent tomorrow. They could give it out to communities communities and let communities build separate mental health facilities, community based and run by community members. So the question is, is it possible for you guys to spend the ARPA funds on just a mental health facility not connected to a jail? It is possible, but the functionality of the mental health facility has always been deemed more appropriate if it's adjacent to a, a mental health facility and a jail facility working totally together. And another concern the People's Council has. It has been negligent that they didn't have a plan B for this money to begin with. Commissioner Mond says they've had a plan in place, but setbacks delayed those plans. He also adds they will explore other options if they're backed against the wall and haven't gotten clarity on their chosen site. We've never said we're just going to toss away this money and send it back to D.C. I mean, we're not going to give uh, Oklahoma County a missed opportunity. We're just hopeful that we're giving them the best opportunity. And the next scheduled county commissioner meeting is set for Monday, where they're expected to hear from the county attorneys on if and how they'll be able to build on this site along East Grand. Reporting in Oklahoma City, Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.